what my current entryway looks like. Okay, and this is not staged. This has become an issue. Um, I was looking for a small console table because this wall is short. Um, I needed to find a console table no wider than 24 inches, which has proved to be impossible. Um, so I settled with this baker's rack that I got from Pier 1. Um, it comes fully assembled. It flows, folds flat, but it's a baker's rack, and that's not the look I was going for in this area. So because shoe, shoe, not shoe storage necessarily, because we can take our shoes upstairs, but when you come in the house, you kick your shoes off, especially our work sneakers. Um, we don't want to be trekking through the house with that with them on so i said i need to find a shoe storage um, solution so i went on to ikea and they have what they call trones they're very popular they've been around people use them for more than just shoe storage they are plastic they do have wood options however this wool is not wide enough for that and because shoes being kicked off near the front door well, actually, that's the back door. That's going to be an ongoing problem, and I don't want that in this area. Um, I decided to get these. There are several other YouTube videos on um, YouTube um, showing the install, giving a review, um, also showing what they did. And what most people have done is they get a piece of wood to put on the top and um, make it dressier. These are going to be wall mounted. I have seen a video where she added legs to the bottom of this and did not mount them to the wall. That's up to you. I thought about doing that as well. Um, I still could. Um, I did contact Lowe's. There's not a Home Depot by me, but I did contact Lowe's and told them my measurements and asked them would they cut the piece of wood for me. And um, the plan is to get a piece of wood and stain it to go on top and I could put, you know, a couple of small decor pieces on top and that will make my entryway look a lot better than what it currently is looking now. Also, I'm going to be changing that light fixture, not me personally, but I did purchase a chandelier from Amazon. Actually, I let Mr. Fuller make the decision and he picked out a nice one that will be hanging there and my entryway will match the rest of the space okay because right now it is not going together at all now here it is I took it out of the plastic packaging and I centered it in the wall again I watched a video where somebody attached uh, legs to the bottom and she had the same wood trim on the bottom so with the legs that helped raise it up well you don't have to do nothing to it, but this is not going to be my finished look. But how it goes is you slide them open and you could fit your shoes. People use and put different things in them. You don't have to put shoes. You can put whatever you want. Um, again, Google Trones. Um, go to the YouTube search bar, put in Trones, and you'll see what other people have done. Again, I think the wood top is necessary. And... Um, Mounting it to the wall is going to raise it up higher, but if you don't want to put holes in the wall, another option is attaching legs to the bottom. And I'm on the fence now thinking, what should I do? I think some gold legs would look really, really pretty. I was thinking of covering the piece of wood with some marble contact paper. I don't know which way I'm going, guys. But if you have a shoe storage issue near your front door and you're tight on space, um, these are two stacked together. They were $29.99. I don't have an Ikea near me, um, so I had to pay for shipping. Uh, the shipping was $9.99. So to make myself feel better, I added extra things along with uh, these items. So I didn't feel bad about spending $10 in shipping just for this one item. And Ikea has tons of great stuff. Um, so I'm really on the fence, guys of what I'm going to do, but I will show you what I come up with. 
Okay, so I made up my mind, guys. I am not going to mount it to the wall. I'm going to purchase furniture legs. I'm in the process of picking out a set that I like um, from Lowe's because that's where I'm going to purchase the wood top. I just want to double check my measurements now. This did not come with screws. I thought it would come with screws. They give you this um, paper and a lot of it is in different languages, um, but it's self-explanatory how to mount it on the wall, um, but I'm not going to go that route. Um, you know, they give you illustrations and I'm more of a visual person, so this these kind of instructions work better for me than words, but um, it shows how you can do it. You could either do them side by side or on top of each other, but again, I'm going to be going the route of purchasing four furniture legs that will give it the height and a wood top um that vase i just spray painted um from dollar tree i'm not sure if i'm going to keep that greenery that i have i just happen to have that um but this was clear and i spray painted it gold and i'm going to be um I think I'm going to keep that frame there and I do have a little bit of space if I wanted to put a small candle but I don't think so I'm not gonna be burning a candle there but um yes yeah, so I'm gonna purchase the furniture legs I would love to get gold legs and Amazon does have gold furniture legs however I don't want to pay that price I really want to keep this as budget friendly as possible uh, so stay tuned for the finished result I will say this already as is is a much neater um and more organized than what was previously and what i did being that we have two cabinets is the top one is mine and the bottom ones is mr fuller's i'm not gonna lie and say it holds a lot of shoes but it will hold my work sneakers it will hold a pair of flip-flops and then just a pair of everyday shoes that i just want to throw out throw on and run to the store real quick and same for him Okay, anything else can go upstairs. This is not to hold all of our shoes. It would not. Um, but uh, it definitely will hold, um, I would say, at least three to four pair in each. Um, depending on what kind of shoes you have. Sne sneakers are kind of bulky, so um, it's not going to hold a lot. So if you have a lot of shoes and you have the space, um, you could purchase multiple of these and put them side by side. Um, and you really can customize it. I've seen so many different ideas from YouTube. So um, I'm, let's go. We're going to pick out the furniture legs and get the wood top. Trip to Lowe's. Forget about it. I ended up purchasing um, some furniture feet from Amazon and they are gold. And for the top, Lowe's, I called. They said they can cut it. Then you get there. It's a different story. I think they just didn't want to do it. Um, they can't cut nothing smaller than, uh, I don't know, 12 inches. And I needed a 20 by 8 or 21 by 8. However, I went into Ross and they had this shelf. Now, I don't need this part, but it looks pretty simple. And this is light. It's not real wood. Um, it's like a particle board, but it looks like wood. And it doesn't matter anyway because I can paint it. Um or cover it with the marble contact paper also at walmart they said that this was a gray wash which i can see why they would call it that way but it's more it's rustic looking from better homes and gardens the length is okay however it's not wide enough so i will be going taking this back so what i'm going to do is unscrew these off the shelf and um i'm going to cover it with marble contact paper and tomorrow the gold um furniture feet should be here from amazon and i will apply them in addition to the creating a space for shoe storage i am changing that light fixture uh the guy will be here later to install it and i am assembling it um got this from amazon it was 41 dollars. it came with white gloves to put the crystals on i can't be bothered with the gloves um, it's going to be really, really pretty, but this is very, very tedious. I let Mr. Fuller 
pick this out. And of course, I'm the one <laughs> dealing with it. And I think I'm going to take a little break because I'm just annoyed with just doing this. And there's three layers of crystals. I also ordered a runner um, from rugs.com. Unfortunately, I paid for two-day shipping. But of course, they hit me with, well, it's two business days, which it did not specify. So it won't be here today. But it's a 10-foot runner. I think it's going to be great. And with the addition of the chandelier, the shoe storage um, system, and the runner, it's going to make the entry relay entryway pop and match the rest of the space this is very tedious i'm up to my last row of crystals and then i'm going to have to wipe the fingerprints off it did come with white gloves to put the crystals on and i could avoid it fingerprints however those gloves would have made this process uh much more tedious it's very annoying to be honest with you um, do I think these are real crystals? That's what they say on Amazon, but this light fixture was only $44, but it's going to give me the look that I want, uh, in the entryway. So I'm going to continue putting the crystals on. Okay. All done. This is all done. I have an extra crystal. Not sure why I don't care cause I'm over it. Um, yes. And this takes an E6000 bulb. So when Mr. Fuller gets here, I'm going to ask him to hold it and I'm going to uh, quickly try to remove as much as my fingerprints off of this. And um, the only thing the gentleman has to do is assemble it. Um, this was much easier, so easy peasy. Um, those are E26 bulbs and this one takes one E26 bulb. Um, I was able to get more. They're not cheap, but, uh, on prime day, I was able to get, uh, them at a really good price. So I bought some extras. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for him to come. Okay. On my way out the door to Jackson, not to New Bern, because I'm picking up my mom and then we're going to head to Jacksonville to go shopping. And I hope to share that with you guys separately if I find anything good. Um, the runner came actually after they told me it was not going to be delivered until Monday. So I'm really nervous because the first floor vibe is, um, modern glam in my definition of modern glam. And I picked a runner that was more traditional. So I said, well, I'll just have to send it back, you know, but I'm going to roll it out how I like it. Cause I was not expecting this. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I have to get on the road because I have an hour drive. It's the cream that's throwing it off for me, I think. It's black and gray. Also, it's a traditional vibe, and it doesn't go with the rest of the space. This was a really good deal. It's a 10-foot runner, 2x10, and it was $50. It came super fast. I don't think that this is going to work. Um, I don't have a lot of time to play with it, but... Even from this angle, it doesn't go with, you know, what I have on the wall. I'm sorry, rug. I'm sorry. I wanted it to work. I think I rushed and pulled the trigger too fast. I was thinking about the hallway upstairs, but that's already carpeted and I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. It doesn't go with the rest of the space. Hey, I'm beat. I'm beat. I'm beat. I was out all day. Went to Jacksonville with my mom and went to Ross. Went, went everywhere. Dollar Tree. Found some good things. That'll be a separate video. But I got the furniture legs and I got a new runner. Um, so let me show you the furniture legs I got from Amazon. I went gold. I went extra. And these were very affordable. They were like 13 bucks, And they were the right size. Um, so I will show you what I'm talking about. So here are the gold legs. They came with screws. I'm not going to be using screws to mount them. I'm going to use some Gorilla Hot Glue and some E6000. Okay, this piece is not going to be moved around. But I wanted to go with gold. Um, and had I gotten some of the other ones, let me zoom out, that were a little bit bigger, they would have been too big, if you know what I'm saying. Um, if you look at 
how they have to go. I'm just making it on that end. So I'm gonna heat up the hot glue and attach these and then I'm gonna work on the marble top. So the faux wood top I'm gonna be covering with this marble contact paper. I'm not sure if I got this from Walmart or if I got this from Amazon. So I'm going to use this because that's what I wanted and that's what I envisioned underneath that gold mirror was a marble top table. I just couldn't find anything that size. Um, so I'm going to be using this. I run the paper the long way um, so I don't have to um, cut it again. And hopefully this is an easy process. And as you can see, it's really, really pretty. And it was no more than five bucks. Okay, so the legs have been glued down. They've been glued down. And I put some E6000 along the top of the cabinet and I'm gonna follow it some with some Gorilla Hot Glue and put the top. I hope it sticks. So the runner is down. I love the size of this better. I love the price, $12.99. Kinda wish it was black, but it is a gray and it does have some texture to it. Um, again, this light fixture is gonna be changed out. He didn't come with the chandelier I showed you guys. And here is the finish product of the Ikea Trones shoe storage cabinet. Ta-da! Now, I like the thickness of the wood, but I don't know that I like that it hangs off the side. I don't know why that bothers me, but I'm so glad that I went with the gold furniture legs. Again, they were on Amazon. I will put them on the screen. Um, if you want, I'll put the link down in the description box. Um, so you can get them. Um, these were the right ones for this cabinet. And um, this is something that I wanted. I wanted a black console table with a marble um, top. Again, this does not hold a lot of shoes, especially sneakers are bulky. However, those are work sneakers. So when we come in, we take our shoes off instead of them on the floor like they were. And anything extra can go upstairs. I got this hourglass from Ross. This is the clear Dollar Tree vase that I spray painted. That's some Dollar Tree greenery. And this is a wedding picture. And this gold mirror I got from Roses for $12.99. And it's the perfect shade. I'm matchy matchy. It matches those furniture legs perfectly. I'm matchy matchy. Okay. But this is it. So if you need shoe storage, again, if you have more space, definitely buy more. I've showed you in this video how other people have DIY'd them and um, I'm happy with the way that this turned out. Really, really happy.